magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Science is the study of how the natural world works. This is science. Yeah! Love your work. Can I get your autograph? I know you probably hear this all the time, but I'm a huge fan. I know this seems a little weird. Let me explain. This plant and all of the trees and the flowers and the bushes and grass and weeds have made it possible for all of us to live. Sounds like I'm exaggerating. I'm not. Plants provide the oxygen we need to breathe. They provide food and so much more. Let's watch them work. Yes! Yes! Isn't that amazing? Okay, okay. I know there isn't much to see here, but I'm going to tell you what that plant is up to and you are going to be stunned. You'll be right here trying to push me out of the way to get his autograph too. Almost all of the energy helping life to be life comes from the sun. Today, it's all about the plants. Yeah! Love it, buddy. We are alive because the sun puts out a huge amount of energy. We animals feel that energy as heat, or we see it as light, but we can't use it as food. We aren't able to live on just light. 
But plants, ho, 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 plants, plants, that light energy gets to the earth and something wonderful happens. Like that superstar right there catches some of it and changes it from light into chemical energy. What is chemical energy? It's the energy that is stored in food. When food is broken down, it releases the stored energy. Plants and animals use this chemical energy to power their bodies. That change from light to food is called photosynthesis. These guys are able to convert sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water into types of sugar. They are called producers. Producers are self-feeders that use light to make food. Organisms like us that cannot make our own food from sunlight are called consumers. We have to get our energy by eating other things. There are even some plants that are both producers and consumers. They are called parasites and they suck the nutrients they need from other plants. But we aren't talking about them today either. Get out of here, you parasites. Let's use this example. What is going on with photosynthesis? Plants take in water and carbon dioxide. The sun hits the leaves and that light energy and some cool chemistry cause the water and the carbon dioxide to break apart and recombine into glucose, glucose, which is a type of sugar, and oxygen. The oxygen is released into the air. To plants, that oxygen is a byproduct. It's just garbage. They're throwing it out. But to us, oxygen is everything. Without plants, we would not have oxygen to breathe. <sighs> Over three billion years ago, bacteria started photosynthesizing sugars and releasing oxygen, and that completely changed the Earth. Then plants evolved and joined in to the photosynthesis party. The Earth at this point had relatively little oxygen. More oxygen led to the evolution of more life that used oxygen to survive. Without bacteria and plants later making oxygen, there would be no animals. Remember that photosynthesis makes oxygen and glucose. You know, we need that oxygen to breathe, but what is glucose? It's food. Do we need food to survive? I don't know about you, but I sure do. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something that sounds completely nutty. Are you ready? Trees are made from the element carbon. Remember that trees take in carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is made with two oxygen atoms combined with a carbon atom. Trees release the oxygen and keep that carbon atom. This happens nonstop with an uncountable number of molecules. That carbon is converted with other minerals like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium into wood and stems and leaves. In fact, all of life on Earth is what we call carbon-based. Life needs carbon to survive. Let's get back to talking through the steps of photosynthesis. And I'll see if I can summarize the process. It happens mostly in the leaves. Leaves on the plants take in carbon dioxide, water, and sunshine. Ever notice how leaves are broad and flat? That so they can gather more sunshine. The shape of a leaf or its form is related to its job or its function. The outer layer of a leaf is covered with small pores or holes called stomata. Carbon dioxide passes through the stomata into the middle leaf cells called mesophyll. Mesophyll contains chloroplasts, which are a type of organelle that carry out the actual process of photosynthesis. There are a bunch of chemical reactions that happen in the chloroplasts. Carbon dioxide and water are broken apart by sunlight and chemicals and are recombined to create glucose. The extra oxygen molecules are released into the air. Glucose and carbon are stored by the plant to give it structure and energy. As if that weren't enough, 
Plants keep the climate of our planet healthy by removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. If all of that carbon dioxide that plants capture and turn into growth were left in our atmosphere, Earth would become too hot for us to survive. To summarize, plants are making oxygen, making food, and they are the building blocks from which almost all life is made. And as a side job, they are keeping our planet at a livable temperature. I love you, man. Do you think I could get you to sign? Sure, sure man. man. Be glad, glad to. to.